We all know the basic way to make a reflection. Duplicate the subject, turn it upside down, and decrease the opacity. Pretty straightforward, right? Let's push that process 10 steps forward and create a hyper-realistic reflection design that will leave your viewers questioning reality. Let's get started. Open Canva and create a new design. I'm using a YouTube thumbnail crop, but you can follow along with whatever dimensions suit your project. First, let's change the background color of the canvas to black, which will enhance the visibility of the reflections. Now place the main subject image in the center of the frame. Then navigate to the app section and search for the app called Easy Reflections. Click on the subject image then select Create Reflection. As you can see, this app comes with some useful parameters to alter the reflection appearance. In this case, we need to set the position to below, offset to 1, and opacity to 100. Position the reflection below the subject image, then hold Alt and Resize to the exact dimensions of the original. Next, let's add the night sky image. Open the photo section and search for night sky with stars. Select your image of choice, resize it so it covers the entirety of the canvas. Then reposition it so it sits on the top half of the frame. Select the Easy Reflections app again and this time set the opacity to 50%. Resize the image so it meets the bottom of the original, then select both layers. Open the Positions tab and send them to the back. Now let's add some contrast between the reflection images. Open the Elements tab and search for Pine Tree Silhouettes. Select this one, then position it so it sits on the horizon. Open the Color Palette tool and sample the colors from the night sky image so it sits nicely with the design. Next, hold Alt and Shift to duplicate the trees until they cover the full width of the canvas. Hold Shift and select all of the tree layers, then press Ctrl and G to group them. Open the Positions tab and in the Layers panel, move the trees behind the main subject image. Next, open the Elements tab and search for Lines Grid Technology. Select this one, then rotate it to 180 degrees and position it so it covers the top half of the canvas. Change the transparency to 60%, then change the layer position so it sits behind the group of trees. Now copy and paste the layer so we have a duplicate, rotate it to 180 degrees, and position it on top of the sky reflection layer with a transparency of 22%. Now let's add a water effect. Open the Elements tab and search for Ocean Water Texture. Select this one, then position it in front of the main subject image. You will notice there is no option to directly change the color of this graphic. Here's how to fix that. With the layer selected, open the Edit Photo section. Then open the Adjustment panel. Scroll down to the Color Edit section and adjust the hue and saturation levels until you find a color that sits well with the design. Change the transparency to 60%, then position the layer on top of the grid line image. Time to add some text. Open a new page then in the text section. Select Add a Heading. Type in your content, then change the font to something chunky like the Horizon font. Then change the color to something bright so it contrasts with the dark sky. Resize the text layer to the full width of the canvas. Then export it as a PNG file with a transparent background. Re-import the file so we can use it with the Easy Reflections app. Then, when the reflection is done, export the image one more time with a transparent background. Import the file to the design and place it behind the main subject image. You will notice an anomaly in your design where some of the text reflection appears where it should be blocked by the main subject. Let's fix that. Select the text layer and in the Edit Photo section, select the Magic Eraser app. Remove the letters that should be blocked. 
taking extra care not to erase any of the other letters. Since you made it this far, you might be interested in this video. It's full of advanced typography design tips in Canva. Until next time.